you know, I grew up in Alaska, and occasionally, like, a wild bear would come, and it would rumble. It would, like, come into town and start digging through trash and stuff like that. Well, I, I heard this first time from uh, Ole Amway guy, and I'm just going to repeat the story and share it as I learned it, right? So there's a bear in a cage that just got captured out of the wild and uh, got brought into a zoo. And if you've ever seen a wild animal versus an uh, animal that is in a zoo for a long time, they look totally different. And it looks actually the difference between an entrepreneur that's been living free for a long time and or a child, right? They kind of look the same. But it looks like the difference between that and somebody who works in a cubicle. Okay, if you look at the eyes of somebody that's worked in a cubicle for 20 years, somebody in the eyes of somebody who's not sure before, their eyes look totally and completely different. One of them's glazed over, one of them's got fire in them. You know what I mean? You look at a kid, you look in their eyes, they got fire in them, right? You look at an entrepreneur, they got fire in them. Somebody who, who's got a, a dream for the future, they've got fire in their eyes. So this bear's got this fire in his eyes from the wild, right? And they put him in a cage and the bear just goes crazy, beating the metal, you know what I mean, scratching at people walking by, growling at everybody. I mean, it's real scary. You got a giant grizzly bear really being mean, right? But what happens after a while is every day at 10 o'clock they bring a little pile of meat and kind of scooch it next to the cage and the bear grabs it violently and grabs it in and starts eating it. And what happens after a while is the bear realizes beating my head against this cage doesn't really get me out. Right? Beating my paws against it doesn't get me out. So it's impatient and mad, but it can't do anything. So it just kind of paces back and forth, dissatisfied like this, walking back and forth, walking back and forth, waiting for the next meet, and then goes over, grabs it, but a little less violent. But three months goes by, the ant keep pacing back and forth turns into giving up. Right? And that's when the glaze kicks in. Five years into a job, ten years into a job you hate, not doing anything about it the glade starts going over your eyes and you look now like somebody living in the matrix, right? And so in any ways, what happens is six months goes by and the bear just stops walking around, just lays on the floor all day in a 10 foot by 10 foot cage, waits till 10 o'clock, kind of gradually gets up, walks over, grabs a meat, pulls it in and eats it, goes and sits back down and lays there all day, right? Very different than the bear that came out, came out of the wild. So one day a zookeeper comes in and he looks at the bear and he says, that bear doesn't do anything anymore. Why don't we just take the cage off, right? And somebody's there who worked before, and he says, oh, no, that thing is crazy. That thing's wild. That thing will kill you if you take that cage off the bear. Don't do that, right? So the zookeeper says, no, I think it's fine. Let's see what happens. So so the guy who's been there for a while, he hides behind the corner, you know, and the zookeeper goes and he takes the cage off the bear, and the bear just sits there. And so then here's what he does. He takes a big pile of meat, walks up, and rather than putting it right next to where the cage used to be, he puts it about seven feet out, just past reach. And the bear walks up to where the edge of the cage used to be, waits, and just sits there. Because even though the cage is removed, it's still there in his mind. See, a lot of you have been living in a cage your whole life, Society's beating up, your parents beating you up, you tried something, you quit, you tried something, you quit, your spouse beat you up, you got divorced, you got a new one, right? And you're sitting there and you're holding on to all this stuff in the past, hard-hearted, blocking everybody out, blocking the ability of a mentor to come into your heart and say, hey, here's how to do it out, right? And you're standing there and now here's what I'm doing is I just lifted the cage off, I've just told you what's gonna happen this year, and I'm standing just outside of it with a big pile of gold and silver, and I'm saying, come on, dude. Now some of you, here's the funny thing, you're just gonna stand there, like this. But you know who I'm talking to on the webinar right now? I'm talking to the people that say, fuck the cage, I'm in.